10 of the fastest players in Madden history. But by the end of this video, I'm only going to be left with one. These 10 players will be competing in rounds of challenges, where at the end of each round, two players will be getting eliminated. And for round one, what else can it be besides a flat out race? I've split the 10 players into two races of five players each. Players that finish in last place of each race will be eliminated. Race number one underway. Who's going to be the first player getting eliminated? And it is going to be John Ross. Now it's time for race number two. A lot of heavy hitters in this one. And the man that's going to be eliminated is Chris Johnson. And that means Chris Johnson and John Ross have been eliminated. Round two is going to be the Wildcat Challenge, where I'll be putting all eight players at Wildcat. And the six players that gain the most yards will be moving on to round number three. So every player will be running this Wildcat power. They'll all be starting from the 25-yard line. The six players that pick up the most yards will move on. They'll all be on all pro difficulty. And Bob Hayes, he's going to go all the way. Look at that speed. 75 yards. Well, we know he'll be in the next round. What a play by Bob Hayes. But now it's time for Bo Jackson. And Bo Jackson, one of the best athletes all around of all time. And Bo, he's going to be gone. Are you kidding me? There's no way we're scoring two back-to-back -to -back touchdowns. Un- Real another touchdown this time for Bo. And like I said, this is on all pro difficulty. And with those two touchdowns, we can now begin our leaderboard. The players from now on that have the two lowest scores will be in the danger zone. Can we make it three back to back to back touchdowns from the Wildcat power? This time it's Tyreek Hill, maybe the fastest player of all time. And Tyreek, can he find the edge? He actually loses yardage, doesn't get the blocking he needs, and he actually loses four. If primetime Deion Sanders and Tyreek get eliminated in the same round, that would be unreal. They're both heavy favorites to win the whole thing. Dion, he loses more yards than Tyreek. He lost five. And after four players have gone, we now have Tyreek Hill and Deion Sanders in the danger zone. Well, I am glad to see that at least the all-pro difficulty is actually showing up on these last two. Because Bo Jackson and Bob Hayes went for touchdowns. But let's see what Randy Moss can do. Can we see a positive play? Randy, get around. Randy Moss. Honestly, that might do it. He already clears it because Tyreek and Dion lost yard. Randy will definitely be moving on. Now for the Washington Commanders, we have Daryl Green, Darrell Green. Please let me know in the comments down below. Commanders fans, honestly, not 100% sure how to say his name, but I'll say this. He's moving on to the next round because he picks up six yards. Now we see what the greatest return man in NFL history can do. Devin Hester's time. Devin Hester going to put Walter Payton in motion. And Devin Hester, can he get a block? He can. He gets the edge. This is the first play we're going to have. Go for a big gain in a while. Goes for 22. Now, I know you're all wondering why Jamison Williams is here in this video with these other legends. Honestly, he has 98 speed in Madden. So I decided to add him because the roster I had, he was the next fastest after all of these Hall of Famers, all of these legends. And I am on Madden 23 because that's where I have the legends roster. But Jamison Williams could pull off the upset of the century because he's moving on to round three, only getting one yard. And after round two, it looks like Tyreek Hill and Deion Sanders have been eliminated. <laughs> round three, super simple. It's going to be the first four players to score. I'm going to be timing all six players when they score a touchdown, and the players with the four fastest times will move on. Well, I got Bob Hayes on the field. We got the stopwatch ready, and Bob Hayes scored on the first play last time from the Wildcat. Now from his natural position, wide receiver. That pass incomplete, defended by Ramsey. We want to go over the top of Bob Hayes. Are we going to have a chance to do it on third and ten? Have them bite on the play action. Romo out of the pocket. Just launch it downfield. Let Hayes go get it. And it's out of his reach. We're going to have to go for this. Bob Hayes, we just need to get a catch at this point. Let him go get it. And we're picked off. Nothing we can do with Bob Hayes on this drive. There was no room whatsoever. We're going to have to get him away from Jalen Ramsey here. We have not one catch yet. Bob, finally a catch. Can we get something going? Bob, I just want to get you an open space here. Loft it up, Tony. Let him go get it. There's Bob Hayes, the bullet. Bob Hayes, the 25. Now maybe we can hit the shot over the top. Maybe pass lead it right. Bob Hayes, he's got it. He's down at the one. I was ready to stop the stopwatch. That wouldn't have been a bad time. All right, now we're going to put him on the zig here. Romo, just drop back. 
Wait for him to get open, and Bob Hayes has done it in 2 minutes 36 seconds. Not a bad time. Now it's time for Bo Jackson, one of the most dominating running backs of all time, and he scored on his first play in the Wildcat as well, like Bob Hayes. But now we're going to the ground. Bo Jackson, he's flying around defenders. This man on the ground is unstoppable. Keeping it on the ground right now with Bo. Maybe we'll hit him in the air too, but right... Oh, one-on-one -on -one with Aaron Donald, though, and he takes him down. If we could seal up this right edge for Bo Jackson, we're gone. Seal it up. There he goes. Bo flying. <laughs> Juke move. Bo Jackson in the end zone. What I say if we seal up that edge, Bo is going to go. Randy Moss used to say if he couldn't get to it, nobody could get to it. Just throw the ball deep and let him go get it. Randy, are you going to get it? Oh, my goodness. He cooked Jalen Ramsey in a big play to Moss down to the 22. Moss, can we go one-on-one -on -one with you where you make this grab on Jalen Ramsey? Randy broken up. This is big for Randy. We don't get this fourth down. We're going to turn it over. Pass lead inside. Oh, and we're picked off. I had to force it to him. And we got to go down the entire field again with Randy now. We're saying I can run a jet sweep to Randy Moss. Get it to him. Moss on the ground. Can we seal up the edge? Use the speed, Randy, to the 23. Let's see if he just cooks Jalen one-on-one with the zig. Loft it up. Moss gonna get it. Touchdown. Two minutes, 45 seconds. Now we got Devin Esther versus Jalen Ramsey. Let's get the stopwatch going. And he actually has help over the top. There's not even Jalen Ramsey back there. And Hester makes an insane grab. Now I just can't make a mistake. And Devin Esther should be able to have a good time and move on to the next round. Just hit him there, Fields. Let him use the speed. Devin Hester using that return man speed. And he's got himself inside the 20. Got plenty of time here. Just be smart. Get it to Hester. Devin Hester, he's got it. One minute, 10 seconds. And with two players left, here is our danger zone. Now we see if Green can cook Jalen Ramsey. Can he get deep on him? It's not looking like he can. Maybe getting a step actually less second. No, Jalen Ramsey makes the play. Green make a play. We step into it. Can we fire it deep? We'll take a PI call. He almost made the grab. I'm not sure if Green's ever going to cook Jalen Ramsey deep, but maybe we could just hit him on a drag or something like that. Let him get in the end zone. Use that speed, Green. Use that speed. No, we overthrew him. Currently, it's tough for him to make a grab. We're fourth and 16. Can we get him on the end, though? Oh, my goodness. He actually completed the fourth down pass. Jalen Ramsey's not on him. Can we get lucky? You know what? Pass lead it back to him. Green, get a block. He's closing in. And with that time, Darrell Green is going to be eliminated. Well, it's possible that Randy Moss is going home this round. Unless Jamison Williams can't get it done against Jalen. Oh, I thought he had a step. He has size. What a catch, Jamison Williams. And now, a quick slant. Could get it done. It is done. Jamison Williams, 57 seconds, and there goes Randy. And after round three, it is Daryl Green and Randy Moss being eliminated. <laughs> round four of the semifinals is going to be tug of war head to head matchups at the 50 yard line. And each of them will have three plays to go ahead and get the furthest they can into enemy territory. The player that gets the furthest in those three plays moves on to the final. Okay, Bob Hayes is going to start it off in round number four. You got three plays, Bob. How many can you get here? How many yards can you get? It's broken up. You don't have to go for chunk play yardage. Maybe if we don't get much here, we'll have to try, though. Bob Hayes this time, though. Just get it to him. Let him turn on the burners a little bit. And he's dragged to about the 38. Now we try to go for a chunk play here to get him as many yards as possible on play number three. There's nothing really open, though. We got to take a chance, and his drive ends at the 38. Now it's Jamison Williams' chance. Can he beat Bob Hayes and the 38-yard line? Get it to him. Oh, if we were picked, he would have lost right there. He's getting pressed. He can go for a big play here. He could win it in one shot. He's got a step. Can he get there? Jamison Williams, he's going to pull off another upset. And for our other matchup, we start with Bo Jackson in the backfield. Seal up the edge. He'll be gone. Bo Jackson. This man wants to win the entire thing, and he picks up seven. I mean, stretch run is probably the best play for him. Let him get to the outside, and then use that speed. 45 throw a block. Bo Jackson turns the corner and gets the 34. One last run for Bo to set his score. Follows the blocks. Oh, he's gone. Bo Jackson, this guy is too good. Now Devin Hester needs a touchdown. Well, I might as well try to go for the touchdown here with Devin Hester on the first play. 
and Fields is taken down. Three plays is all you get, and when you get sacked pretty much on the first play, it's not too easy. Can Devin Hester do it for the tie? And he missed it. And the finals is easy. Both players want to score a 99-yard touchdown against one another. Whoever does it faster is going to be the winner. And here we go. Bo Jackson up first. Stopwatch is going. And Bo is flying. No way. Bo Jackson. Oh, he got tripped up last second by Jameson. I am actually a little bit nervous, though, for Bo Jackson's chances because it's not like he's an elite corner. I don't know if he's going to be able to stop Jameson Williams. 50 seconds in, I feel like Bo might have had to have scored already to have a chance to win this. Jameson playing good defense now after that first play. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing. We're on the road to 100K. This could be it. Bo Jackson muscles off the tackle from Jamison Williams. And that will do it for his time. Two minutes, 10 seconds. For the win, Jamison Williams has to score in less than two minutes, 10 seconds. And I think he has a really good chance at it. What? But I think he's got a really good chance. Obviously, he has way better route running than Bo did. But Bo is keeping up with... And he picked us off. Oh, Jamison's flying this time. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. No, Bo got a step. Jamison makes the grab. The defenders get caught up. Bo Jackson got caught up with his teammate. And Jamison Williams wins the video. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels, which are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.